So in this quick video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of dreaming. And I, I apologise in advance, I've got my Diet Coke here at hand. If I do get a bit thirsty, I might have a swig. I'm not going to edit it and anything like that. I, like, like I said in the introduction video, guys, I like my videos to be natural. Is it we're just having a conversation friend to friend? Or as I say from my hometown in Liverpool, England, mate to mate, okay, yeah. So let's see, you know, I'm going to talk about, about the importance of dreaming, okay, because I'll, a lot of people think dreaming, you know, it's, it, 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 it's, you know, it's a silly thing to do, it's, you know, it's a load of nonsense, and it's not, okay, I promise you, that, you know, the difference between the people that succeed in life and the people that don't, it's to do that they've got a dream, okay, yeah. And I know you might be so, I'll be honest with you, when I first heard that, I was like, what a load of nonsense, okay, because me, like most people, I was, I come, I come from a, 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 a quite a rough house in the States, even though I had a happy childhood, but I come from quite a rough, poor house in the States in Liverpool, England, as you might already know, uh, and we just never spoke about dreams, you know, and especially when the school that we went to, and I'm not, I'm not sort of, I'm not knocking our teachers because in anything in life, you've got the good, the bad, and the ugly. And in school, you've got good teachers, bad teachers, you've got terrible teachers, okay? Now, I'm, I'm not a massive lover of our, our teaching system, I'll be honest with you guys, but I'm not obviously going to go into that here. But, you know, for me, and probably for yourself and for most people, a lot of teachers, unfortunately, don't encourage children to dream. Now, again, as I say, you know, and the teachers might say, the teachers might say, well, you know, that's not our responsibility; it's the parents' responsibility. And I beg to differ. Yeah, it is the parents' responsibility to teach the children to dream, but it is also the teachers' responsibility as well. But here's the problem: if most teachers, when they were educated, if they weren't taught to dream, they're not going to teach their pupils how to dream. Uh, reason being is you just don't know any better okay yeah and i don't mean to be disrespectful to teachers but so i've worked off and on you know uh, off and on in schools o over the years and like you say in, in you know like anything in life you get the good the bad and the ugly uh, and i've met some fantastic teachers who are trying to change obviously you know maybe bringing a more an entrepreneurial approach into schools then you've got obviously teachers who are complete dinosaurs and they just don't want anything to change and then you get teachers who really they don't want to be teaching they're not interested in the children who just want to pick up the paycheck uh, and as I say, so it is, it, you know, it, it can be quite obviously, you know, frustrating for, you know, uh, you know, so you can understand why, unfortunately, a lot of people, when they get to adulthood, they just, they, they've no idea, you know, when, when someone says, you know, what's your dream, you know, they look at, you know, they, they'll look at someone as if you've got two heads. Now, when someone said that to me, what's your dream, I was like, what are you talking about? It's a dream, you know what I mean? It's like, I looked at them like they had two heads because we're just not taught it. But I promise you guys, if you look at every successful person or every success that you've had, it's because you've had a dream. Other people might call it other things, by the way. People might call it a vision. You know, someone might just call it as basic as, you know, I know what I want in life, okay, yeah? Uh, it doesn't matter what you call it, you know, as I say, a dream, a vision, a mission, a passion, you know, this is what I want to do in life. You know, someone might say, you know, hey, I want to be a policeman or I want to be a doctor or I want to be a pilot. That's still a dream, okay? Um, and as I say, uh, so a lot of people have achieved their dreams by not really not understanding that they've been going after the team, if that makes sense. But in this video, guys, I want to really, really, you know, underline the fact that it's important to dream. If anyone says to you, oh, that's nonsense, you know, as I say, you know, well, you know, that, you know, you're talking about dreams and all that, just don't have a conversation with them. You need to find people uh, that will have that type of conversation because if you want to have any chance of success, you and I'll obviously be speaking about this in, in the next, uh, uh, obviously in the next video because obviously we're in the, the dream section of the chapter. If you want to have any chance of success, guys, you've got to learn to dream. Or another word I'll speak about in this course is visualization. Visualization to me is arguably, now to me, it is the most important skill that you need to master. And the beauty about it, guys, okay, yeah, it's actually one of the easiest skills that you can master. So I'm gonna be speaking about visualization later on in this uh, in this chapter because it's so, so important to your success. But I promise you, okay, if you wanna, you know, if you've come to that fork in, you know, fork in, in your life and you're not too sure what to do, or, you know, as I say, you're in a job that you hate or your business that you hate, um, and you just, you just no idea what to do next in life, you're completely stuck in a rut, you've no idea what to do, you need to start to dream, guys, okay? And if anyone tells you that it's a load of nonsense and all that, like I said already, you need to stop that conversation with that person and you need to speak to people who talk about that, you know, like dreaming is natural, dreaming is the right thing to do. 
because again, I promise you, and I'll keep coming back to this in probably every video that I'm going to be every video that I'm going to be doing. If you speak to any successful person or your favourite, you know, person, whether it's actor or actress, etc., I promise you, they'll speak about their dream or knowing what they wanted in life or their passion or their mission. Dreaming is so important, okay? So before you do anything, guys, with this course, okay, yeah, you've got to get it into your head, okay, yeah, you know, uh, that dreaming is okay. And again, I'm going to give you uh, the first task in this course, okay? Start thinking, okay, what would you like to achieve in life? Just get a pen and paper and just write it down. Don't think, okay, yeah, think, you know what? If you could, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? If you had a magic genie and the genie could give you three wishes, okay, yeah, or five wishes or ten wishes, and, the, and you could say to that genie, genie, this is what I want to achieve in life. This is what I want to do. Write them down. Go from your gut, not from your mind. Go from your gut feeling. What would you love to do? Because that's probably what you want to do anyway, guys, okay, yeah? Just write it down, and then that's the start of your journey, okay, yeah? Uh, so please do that literally within the next 10 to 15. Let's actually do it now because you should have a pen and paper. Uh, write down at least three things that, you know, if you could wave a magic wand and that you knew that you could be a success, what would you do, okay? Yeah, but the first point in this video I want you to get across is, look, not only is it okay to dream, okay, you've got to dream, okay, yeah? Because without dreaming, okay, yeah, obviously it's very, very difficult. You're going to achieve your dreams, okay, if you don't know where you're going to go, if that makes sense, okay? So I hope that helps. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.